some sports and some newcomers to those sports um, find it a little bit harder to get that kind of cash. An Olympic hopeful who put himself on eBay after he failed to get a major sponsorship deal has received a bid worth more than £32,000. Yes, he is the 200 metre runner James Ellington. He needed the money so he could commit to training full time and earn his place on Team GB in time for London 2012. I'm delighted to say that James is here for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, what was the situation? You needed cash. Yeah. And the sponsorship d didn't come through. No. Um, I mean, last year I had a really good opening season, and I tore my hamstring, and um, that was that. After my after my fourth race, I tore my hamstring. I was out for the season, and um, I missed out on the sponsors. So the sponsors don't like to touch you if you've got injury yeah. troubles. I don't. I don't think anyone thought I'd be back in in time for this year. So um, I fought back through the season, came back out this year, made the World Championships team, and um, then I was left without a sponsor. Yeah. So you put yourself on eBay. Just explain how that works. Um, basically, I'm auctioning myself, or I've auctioned myself, and um, I, I just thought I needed to come up with an idea, something different to um, raise money. Um, so me and a group of friends sat down, we came up with the eBay, eBay idea, um, we put the auction up, and it just took off from there, really. And somebody's won you, mm. uh, and is going to pay thirty-two grand. I mean, yeah. do you know who they are, and what are they going to get for their money? At the moment, we don't know who it is. We need to verify it. Um, we'll probably find that out either tomorrow or later on tonight. Um, and for their money, I mean, they'll, they'll get promotion basically. Um, obviously, you know, a lot of a lot of the sponsors are sponsoring Olympic athletes. Um, it's promotion for their company or personal individuals, and. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a great, great opportunity for the, the, the people that are sponsoring me, sponsoring me as well. So. As we watch these pictures, just talk us through. Give us your own commentary on this. Oh, that was um, the European team champs out in Stockholm this year. And uh, that's one of my uh, teammates, Harry, um, running the last leg. And I haven't actually seen this race yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is... Um, oh, I don't even want to see this one. This is the end of season race. Um, tired, you don't, you don't want to see this one because... Oh, this is tired legs. The guy next to me, Water Dix, he's... Um, one of the fastest guys in the world. Um, you don't want to be. You don't want to have tired legs racing next to one no, of the fastest guys no. in the world. I literally flew back from Croatia the day before this race, and um, it was a, a last-minute race. And um, yeah, <laughs> you'll see the results now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we might just cut out of the pictures before, you know, so you don't feel embarrassed about it. I'm intrigued by this, this sponsorship. There you go. Won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your eyes are wide watching. Yeah, that's that's, that's painful. Oh no. How is your hamstring? Um, yeah, it's great. Um, it's great now. I mean, I've done a lot of strengthening work um, through last winter um, to put me in good stead for this season. So it's, it's, it's fine now. And this, I mean, are you slightly worried as to who might have bought you? I mean, obviously you're hoping it's a business and that uh, it's a reputable business whose name you can display on your training and that sort of stuff. Yeah. But there must be a slight doubt in the back of your mind that it might be some kind of weirdo. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a mystery. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it is some, someone who isn't a bit controversial. Um, Other things that you wouldn't advertise? Yeah, I mean, anything that was bad, I wouldn't advertise. Um, Did you make that clear in your... Yeah, yeah, I think, I think we'll, we'll bat that out with the sponsor. So. Carthy, Carthy's got a, a story from New Zealand, haven't you, that there was another athlete there who came up with a rather different way, James, that uh, you, you weren't tempted by. What was that? No, it was a, a New Zealand athlete, a taekwondo athlete, who uh, needed to raise money for similar reasons and ended up opening, I'm not quite sure how to say it this time of the morning, a senior gentleman's club, shall I say, <laughs> in New Zealand, and he's raised an awful lot of money. It's now the most famous uh, senior gentleman's club in New Zealand, uh, and he's raising his money to go to 2012 next year. So uh, I, think, I, think you, I think your I think idea is better. Your idea is better. <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah. James, thank you very much, Lee. Well done. Thanks for coming in and uh, telling us, us about it. Let us know who it is, although yeah. I'm sure we'll see for ourselves. Yeah, Lovely to see you. Thanks, James. Cheers. It's 7.40.